How to use Flux model to create unlimited and free photos of yourself in any style or situation you want. In this method, we give the AI a few pictures of ourselves to create a LoRa model. And then we can use it to generate high quality photos of ourselves. First, sign up on the Replicate website, which is free. Or if you have one already, just sign in to your account. Then click on the Explore option and search for the Astris. Select Astris slash Flux Dev LoRa Trainer. This is where we will create our personalized LoRa. Under the destination section, proceed and choose create a new model. Then give it a name. I'm going to use a friend's photo for this. Someone who isn't recognized by AI but is a blogger named Negin. So I'll name the LoRa Negin dash LoRa. In the next section, it asks me to upload a few photos for the model so that it can analyze the face and details and create the model for us. It's that simple. Interesting, right? I have some photos of Negin ready to upload to the site, but all the photos need to be zipped into one file. The number of photos you choose should be between 10 and 20. From my experience, using more than 15 photos might not result a good LoRa model and the output may not turn out well. If you pay attention to the instructions, it says that each photo file should be named something like my-photo.jpg. Here, I'm selecting 15 photos and naming each one negging-photo. You can also add a caption for each photo. To make sure the AI understand which caption belongs to which photo, you need to create a text file with the same name as the photo and include it in the final zip file. For example, I name a picture negin-photo1.jpg and then for the caption I need a file like this negin-photo1.txt. If you don't want to add a caption, you can just include the photos in the zip file and the AI will automatically generate captions for each photo. There's an option for that lower down. In the next section, which is trigger word, choose a word that you'll use later in the prompt to tell the AI that you want to use this specific model you've trained. If you're not sure what a trigger word is, I'll explain. Simply put, it's a word or words that you need to include in a prompt so that the AI knows to use your custom model like Negin Laura when generating the image. In the next section, if you didn't provide captions for the photos, check the auto caption option. In the box below, write a phrase that you want to appear at the beginning of all generated captions, such as photo of Negin. This will make the AI start all captions with this phrase, so you can later use the same phrase when generating images. If you are creating a specific style instead of a person, you can write the style of your style instead. The most important part of building our model is choosing the number of steps. I recommend 2000 steps to ensure the model is well made because fewer steps mean less time spent on creating the model which can negatively impact the final quality. However, many people have achieved good results with just 500 or 1000 steps. But I want to be safe, so I'm going with 2000 steps, which will make about 45 minutes to build the model with the GPU we have here. In this step to store our model online, go to the Hugging Face website and create a free account. If you already have an account, just log in. Click on your profile picture and select create new model. Choose a name for your model. I'll name it negin Laura. Set the privacy to public unless you want to use this Laura only on your personal computer. The public option means everyone will have access to this Laura. I'm setting it to public because I want to generate images on the Replicate website and this site needs to access the LoRa. Now click on the Create button and a storage location for our model will be created. Next click the copy icon at the top to copy the name of this LoRa along with your username. Go back to the Replicate website and paste this information into the Repo ID field. Now we need a token and creating one is very simple. Go back to the Hugging Face website, click on your profile. Open the setting section and then click access tokens here. Now click create new token. Check the necessary options and put any name you like for your token name.
and then click create at the bottom. Your token is now created. Copy the token and put it in replicate website. Okay, almost everything is done. Just remember that your trigger word must be unique. Now scroll down and click on the create training button. Before you click, you should know that creating this model costs about $2.5. So make sure to add $3 to $5 to your replicate account to avoid any errors. Then wait for the model to be created. It takes about 45 minutes. So go grab a coffee and come back while keeping this page open. Once the model is created, if you go back to the Hugging Face website, you will see that your LoRa has been created in this section and you can download it to use locally on your personal computer. Now let's test the LoRa we created. To do this, go to this link, which allows us to generate images using the FluxDev model and a LoRa. In the first box, I write a very simple prompt with my trigger word. That was Negin. Here I choose the size I want for my image. The aspect ratio is written from left to right. I'm selecting 4 to 5 to create a portrait image. The number of images is set to 3. I choose 3 for the number of images, but you can choose however many you want. 20 steps are enough, but you can set more if you like. The guidance scale of 3.5 is good. Leave the seed field empty. Here choose the format you prefer. I'm selecting PNG. Here set the quality to 100. In this box, you need to enter Hugging Face ID and the name of your LoRa. Go back to the Hugging Face website, click on your profile, and then click on your ID. Select the model you want, and then click this button to copy, and paste it into this box on the replicate site. Everything is ready now. I set the LoRa scale to 1 to better capture the details of my model face. Click on Run. The generating process is begin. Now we have done. You can see that the images are generated and look beautiful, closely resembling our subject. You can create images of yourself or your loved ones in different situations using this method and enjoy the amazing quality of the Flux model. You can even create your own personal influencer by using AI-generated images of a fictional person to build a LoRa model and use them as your personal influencer. Okay, we are done. By the way, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tutorials and hit the bell icon so you will be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.